Hey guys, this is Mark from Oregon Bushcraft. Uh, today is the filming of my 100th video and a, an announcement. Uh, just taking a break from making sheaths. I uh, figured I'd sit down and, and uh, share with you guys some news and some new information. Um, I have been hired by One Tigress to be their spokesperson, if you will, um, helping them with their internet marketing so I'm managing the Instagram page I'm also one of the administrators on the Facebook page and I'm going to be running their YouTube channel uh, so if you haven't uh, checked it out I'll put a link to the One Tigers YouTube channel down below you definitely want to be subscribed to that because future giveaways and all the product information on One Tiger stuff is going to be over on that channel um, I will still you know continue to make videos on this channel and yeah, I don't think anything's really going to change over here, but on the One Tigers channel, uh, we're going to be doing basically monthly giveaways across multiple social media platforms. So there will be an Instagram giveaway and a Facebook giveaway and a YouTube giveaway and, you know, like a Twitter giveaway. I'm not sure exactly. I know for sure I'm going to do YouTube, Facebook, and, uh, and Instagram. And that just gives people a chance who don't do Facebook or don't do Instagram a chance to do you know YouTube entry and it, it may or may not be video responses it could just be you know share the video and say I'm in or whatever so that's pretty exciting pretty exciting stuff um, One Tigers is a great company and uh, you know just working part-time for them doing that stuff and <clears throat> yeah it looks like it's gonna be a lot of fun so they are sending me some new products and uh, I will have reviews of those out today on the other channel so some exciting some exciting news there so far I've been making some sheaths I've got one for a uh, Jacko over at Muddy Tiger Outdoors and I'll actually give you a sneak peek of it here in a second so here is Jacko's new knife sheath got his tech lock on there I ran out of a black through hole post so I just got some chrome Chicago screws on there but I'm gonna send him some replacements of those this is mr. Scooty fire steel and I just kinda again threw everything on here just you know to make sure everything fit and and uh, make sure he liked it pretty pretty positive lock and I made the fire steel a little tighter uh, just because you know as time goes on it's gonna get uh, gonna get thinner and thinner but it seems to be on there it seems to be on there pretty good but I've been leaving just an angle on this side right here for the thumb so you can just use your thumb to pull the knife out this knife doesn't really have much of a waist on it so you know there's really not much for the kydex to to grab onto so I had to make the top part of the sheath a little taller so there's a little bit more drag in this sheath than than normally but it's just because the you know the, the handles don't have a lot of contouring which the handle feels great in the hand so no arguments or complaints there and it goes in with a nice little click so Hopefully he's happy with that one, because uh, he paid me for it, and I'm shipping it back to him tomorrow. And I suppose I'll give you a little, little preview of my space. This is a two foot by three foot bench, and I've just got. I was trying to clean up, so I kind of got stuff piled everywhere. But I got an eight inch by a twelve inch press on this side. I use this little space for making belt loops, etc. I've got a, a drawer with a griddle on there for warming, heating up the kydex. Drill press. It's a bench grinder, but works great for, for buffing wheels. Then on this side, we got the uh, 4x36 and the Arbor Press Mac Tightwads ILBE sitting here waiting for him it's all taken apart 
uh, <clears throat> sold that to him and and then uh, went to order some fabric he wanted some of that Marpat 70D uh, fabric and we did the deal and then when I went to order it they were out of stock Ugh. so hopefully hopefully uh, one of the suppliers I go through is getting some back in stock so that will be that'll be good at least so hopefully I can get that shipped out to him within the next next couple weeks he's been you know really gracious waiting so and and being patient which I appreciate I uh, was just gonna refund him the money on the fabric but that stuff's so hard to get and because the bag is so expensive to ship anyways it, adding more weight doesn't affect the the rate so I think it's like 20 20 pounds of weight you know for like 60 bucks or whatever it is um, you know so might as well might as well send it now uh, a little short sheath for a Baco Laplander. Uh, there will be a tarp grommet here, uh, you know, a larger, a larger one. But a lot of my stuff's still in totes, and I don't know where those are. Uh, but I basically, and I haven't quite figured out the shape of this yet. I don't really know if I like the that sort of shape. But it is, it is locked in there really good. So. Uh, pretty happy with that. You really got to yank on it to get it out of there. Uh, I'm probably going to continue the, the sheath up a little higher. Uh, maybe get it just to the edge of the black right there. And then just round it out a little bit. I think this is nice because you can just, once I get the other grommet on there, you can just throw a carabiner through it. Hang it from your bag. Um, if you do have like any sort of lanyard loop on the bottom, you could always run that through your carabiner as well, just to make sure it's it's stable. I normally carry mine in a little leather uh, sheath that I made, but you know, now that I'm doing stuff with Kydex, I kind of got to represent. So this is a work in progress. Uh, I will probably sell uh, these sheaths for 15 bucks. They don't really take a lot of time and and energy to make. Um, you know, this is just sort of my experimental model, but even though you can see I, uh, I polished the edges pretty good. I didn't go to the super super high shine. I don't really think uh, I don't really think for you know outdoorsy kind of stuff we have to go too crazy with you know with polishing that that edge up. I think for me just a nice smooth edge. You can't see the seam. Uh, it's well blended, you know, that works for me. So, Well guys, that's it for me. I'm going to get back to work. Um, join uh, our Oregon Bushcraft uh, Facebook group. It's a closed group, but you know, you can send in an invite. Um, any activities uh, coming up, uh, we post in there. People just chit-chat, banter, ask questions, read, you know, talk about gear, stuff like that. So uh, if you're on Facebook, you want to join that group. We don't do any, uh, you know, no business postings, stuff like that. You're allowed to, you know, buy, sell, and trade, obviously, um, you know, but there's no sunglasses or uh, Damascus steel, steel knives from India being posted every day. We, we keep a pretty close eye on it. And uh, Sean Squatch, PNW is another one of the admins on there, and uh, so we keep it, we keep it pretty well, pretty well regulated. So. Anyways, that's it for me, guys. The next time you see me will be over on the One Tigress YouTube page. I will put a link for that down below. I've got new products that were just released to review, and we'll have those up within the next couple days. So get over there, get subscribed, and we'll see you guys next time.